weekly artificial intelligence and robot news. Every day, technology advances considerably. Technology will provide you with something that will make your mouth drop or give you chills. When it comes to robotics or artificial intelligence, science fiction is coming to life. So what are the new additions for this week? Are you prepared to get impressed? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and also press the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics, and future technology. That being said, let's begin. We'd start with robot ants. Ants have a finite amount of power and intellect. They may, however, utilize intricate techniques as a colony to achieve difficult tasks and avoid larger predators. Professor Jamie Pike's robotics lab at EPFL has replicated this phenomenon, generating small robots with low physical intelligence on an individual level, but the ability to communicate and act collectively. Even though each robot is basic in design and weighs only 10 grams, it has several locomotion modes for navigating any sort of terrain. They can recognize and overcome impediments swiftly as a group, as well as move things considerably larger and heavier than themselves. Nature has released a paper on the subject. Despite their similar anatomy, each robot is assigned a distinct duty based on the circumstances. Explorers look for physical barriers in their way, while workers combine their strength to move items. Tribots might be deployed in large numbers in realistic scenarios, such as an emergency operation. They could also find a target across a vast area without depending on GPS or visual input because of their multi-locomotive and multi-agent communication capabilities. Then there's RoboB. Harvard University's famed small robotic bee, called RoboB, has gained revolutionary perching, swimming, and sensing skills, among other things, since becoming the first insect-inspired robot to take flight. RoboB has now achieved another milestone, precise control over its heading and lateral movement, allowing it to maneuver considerably more effectively. As a result, RoboB can hover and turn better in midair, making it more like the bumblebee. It's a biological inspiration, the breakthrough was documented in a research paper published in IEEE Robotics and Automation Letters in December. The increased level of flight control will be useful in a variety of situations. When a precise flight is required, consider the requirements to investigate sensitive or risky areas, a task for which RoboB would be ideally suited, or the necessity for a big group of flying robots to move in swarms. One especially intriguing area is aided agriculture where we hope to use these vehicles to do chores like pollination, emulating the achievements of biological insects and birds. But, for good reason, achieving precision control with a flapping winged robot has proven difficult. Helicopters, drones, and other fixed-winged vehicles may adjust their direction and lateral movement by tilting their wings and blades and including rudders and tail rotors. To assist the robot spin while standing in midair, flapping robots must move their wings up and down at varied rates. A force known as yaw torque is produced by this sort of rotary movement. However, to create the needed yaw torque to spin the body, flapping wing micro aerial vehicles, FWMAVs like RoboB, must carefully balance the upstroke and downstroke rates inside a single fast flapping cycle. In FWMAVs, this makes yaw torque harder to create, McGill explains. Next, the widespread use of deepfake technologies creating fears that AI will begin to distort human perceptions of reality, according to new research. AI-generated faces don't only fool us into believing they're genuine individuals, we trust them more than our peers. Nvidia surprised the world in 2018 by developing an AI that could create ultra-realistic photographs of individuals who didn't exist. Its researchers used a generative adversarial network, GAN, a sort of algorithm that puts two neural networks against one another, one attempting to detect fakes and the other attempting to build more convincing ones. GANs may produce astonishingly good counterfeits if given enough time. Since then, capabilities have greatly increased, with some concerning consequences, allowing fraudsters to deceive people, allowing individuals to be spliced into pornographic films without their agreement, and weakening faith in internet media. While AI can be used to detect deepfakes, the failure of tech corporations to properly regulate far less intricate material implies that this will not be a silver bullet. According to research published in PNAS, deepfakes are no better than a random guess, and individuals see fake faces as more trustworthy than real ones. Researchers created 400 synthetic faces using an improved version of NVIDIA's GAN and compared them to genuine ones from the database that was used to train the GAN. 
According to the researchers, part of the reason why artificial faces are evaluated higher is that they resemble real faces, which individuals have been shown to trust more in prior studies. Their findings imply that people creating deepfakes should think twice before proceeding. Next, there's insomnia. Machines, unlike humans and any other organism with a central nervous system, do not need to sleep. Your toaster, like your fridge, vehicle, and everything else that has been transformed by the introduction of realistic artificial intelligence technology may require a snooze from time to time. If AI systems that imitate live brains are integrated into the vast variety of gadgets that presently rely on traditional computers and microprocessors to assist us to get through the day, the world will change. At least, that's the implication of a new study being conducted at Los Alamos National Laboratory to better comprehend systems that function similarly to neurons in biological brains. Scientists arrived at this discovery while working on neural networks that closely resemble how humans and other biological systems learn to perceive. They wanted to see how these simulated networks would react to unsupervised dictionary training. In this type of activity, networks classify items without having any previous instances to compare them against. Consider presenting a youngster with a collection of exotic animal photographs and asking them to group similar ones. If the youngster has no idea what an antelope is, they would put it in a different pile than the lions or penguins, for example. After that, we got AI that will be able to see in three dimensions. Researchers discovered that sending hundreds of photos into an algorithm loosely inspired by how neurons in the brain responded to information resulted in a massive improvement in accuracy. The breakthrough generated a wave of academic and commercial activity that is reshaping several businesses and sectors. In the realms of both computer graphics and AI, a new approach that includes training the same sort of AI algorithm to transport 2D photos into a rich 3D perspective of a scene is generating buzz. The method has the potential to revolutionize video games, virtual reality robotics, and self-driving vehicles. It may even help robots observe and reason about the world in a more intelligent, or at least, human-like way, according to some researchers. The new process, termed neural rendering, involves utilizing a neural network to acquire and synthesize 3D data from a few 2D photos. It developed from the fusion of concepts circulating in computer graphics and AI. But attention peaked in April 2020, when researchers at UC Berkeley and Google demonstrated that a neural network could photorealistically capture a scene in 3D, merely by examining multiple 2D photos of it. This technique takes advantage of the way light travels through the air and uses it to compute the density and color of points in three-dimensional space. This allows 2D photos to be converted into a lifelike 3D representation that can be viewed from any angle. Its core is a neural network similar to the one used in the 2012 image recognition program, which analyzes pixels in a 2D picture. The new techniques turn 2D pixels into voxels, which are 3D equivalents. Videos of the technique, dubbed Neural Radiance Fields, NERF, by the researchers, astounded the scientific world. According to Della Ert, the method is a game-changer for everyone working in computer graphics. Normally, creating a complex, realistic 3D scene involves hours of tedious hand labor. The new approach allows amazing scenarios to be created in minutes from conventional images. It also introduces a brand new method for creating and manipulating synthetic settings. Then there's AI that protects AI. As artificial intelligence, AI, becomes more prevalent in IT infrastructure, the race is on to guarantee that it stays safe when exposed to data sources outside of the enterprise's control. AI will face a wide range of weaknesses and an increasingly sophisticated array of threats, virtually all of which will be driven by AI itself, from the data center to the cloud to the periphery. Meanwhile, the stakes will be rising, as AI is expected to become the backbone of our healthcare, transportation, banking, and other vital industries supporting our contemporary way of life. So, before enterprises start pushing AI too far into these distributed systems, it would be a good idea to take a step back and make sure it can be effectively safeguarded. At the system level of systems like Watson, IBM is aiming to develop adversarial resilience. The organization will be able to maintain security posture by installing AI models that interrogate other AI models and then correct those models if they break from standards. However, this necessitates a mental change away from hunting out and fighting malicious code and toward monitoring and regulating AI's behavior to everyday inputs. According to John Rose, CTO of Dell Technologies, the company has to commit greater resources to avoid and respond to threats. Using AI-driven event information, management services, or a managed security service provider, most enterprises are capable of identifying threats. However, preventive and reaction times are still too slow to adequately mitigate a catastrophic breach. Next, 
Machine learning allows marketers to focus on creativity and strategy. Over the years, artificial intelligence, AI and machine learning, ML, have received a lot of attention. We tend to overestimate a technology's short-term impact while underestimating its long-term impact. It's critical to first comprehend AI and machine learning before we can make use of their benefits. Machines are merciless optimizers who can arrange data at a level that humans can't seem to match. Machine learning may be used to solve a variety of human issues. When digital initiatives are unable to adjust to changing conditions in real time, they are much less successful. Marketers may see outcomes in real time instead of waiting for results after a campaign by mixing machine learning with real time data. Brands may profit from things like a hit Netflix program that just came out or what's happening on Twitter. What separates decent marketing from outstanding campaigns is having the proper creative marketer. Marketers can discover new patterns and behavioral shifts in real time thanks to machine learning and real time data. This technology, like all other technologies, is designed to relieve us from mundane and repetitive tasks. Finally, robots dress humans without taking into account the entire picture. Certain tasks, such as carrying materials that are excessively heavy or laborious for humans, are already performed by robots. Another use for them is a precise assembly of objects like watches with a huge number of microscopic parts, some of which are so small that they can't be seen with a human eye. Things get considerably more challenging when a robot needs to engage with a person and collaborate to perform a task safely and successfully. Shen Li, a PhD candidate in the MIT Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics, adds, an experiment involving robot-assisted dressing without sleeves has been completed by MIT researchers. The robot cannot see the human arm during the whole dressing process, which is a significant distinction in this scenario. They've created an algorithm that allows them to make educated estimations about the location of the elbow at any given time. As a result, the amount of force required by the robot to lift garments from the hand to the shoulder changes. This concludes today's installment of our weekly updates on the latest future technologies in robotics. Join us again next time for more fascinating news from the robotics field. To keep updated with us, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.